Well, it is one of the best-known musicals of all time with a cult following that made it famous for its international fan club. The Rocky Horror Picture Show was brought to life after the success of the 1970s stage show and starring in both was Sydney actress Laura Campbell, better known by her stage name, Little Nell. It was so successful, Little Nell has been living off the royalties for half a century. But now, at the age of 69, she's decided to hit the road with her own one-woman show, spilling secrets and stories about what really went on. In those heady days of stardom, Little Nell spoke exclusively to our Jordan Bissell in Brisbane. It was great when it all began. It was great when it all began. 47 years ago. Almost five decades later, little Nell Campbell is just as legendary as the movie which made her a household name. She's still a rule breaker, making this confession to Weekend Sunrise meeting us in Brisbane. I did sneak a hot beverage on the plane. They said no coffee, no tea, no one's to bring anything on the plane. The Sydney showwoman's breakout role came in 1975's Rocky Horror Picture Show as tap dancer Columbia. Oh, I can't think of anything I'm proud of in my career. I'm not proud of anything I've done. I'm not a proud person. But something that I am thrilled about is that that little musical that we performed in this tiny theatre in London in 1973 went on to be a film which no one went to see at first but that that film in almost 50 years has helped so many people with their sexuality and given people hope. For Nell, that little musical has given her a lifetime of royalties to live on, but she didn't slow down releasing a single the following year and opening the famous Nell's Nightclub in New York in 1986. It was a wild time. I didn't see daylight for about five years. Rubbing shoulders with Bob Dylan and Andy Warhol was all in a night's work. I used to give dinners at my nightclub regularly and Sting and Andy were sitting, they were the two sitting next to me. And then I had to go into the kitchen to check on something and um, not that I was cooking, of course. Um, and uh, I came back and Bob Dylan was sitting in my seat. So I just pretended I didn't know who the hell he was and sat in his lap. Now she's spilling the beans on a nationwide speaking tour. What do you think they'd be interested in? Who slept with who? Really? Yeah. Who? I'm not going to tell you, darling. <laughs> to come to the show for that. But she will talk about missing out on singing the movie's famous theme to co-star Patricia Quinn. I was a little bit jealous. Yes. Her mouth is so much better than mine. And her friendship with the original Frankenfurter, Tim Curry. He is the best and everyone wanted to sleep with him. Not like an actor who didn't have an actor's ego. He's very witty but quiet. There was also Meatloaf who played biker Eddie, Nell's on-screen love interest. The pair stayed friends until the 74-year-old passed from COVID in January. Yeah, I used to see him because he and I would appear at conventions that people meet us and, you know, pose for photos, get our autographs. Nell's also opening up on the movie's humble start as an off-Broadway musical in 1973. The £50 budget for the set and £20 for the costumes. £50? About that. I mean, there was absolutely no money involved. We were paid £18 a week. Before a film adaptation was suggested. It was made with no money. We had to make film in five weeks. I think the budget was around, at the most, a million dollars. It became a cult classic remade in 2016. As for whether Nell herself would slip the top hat and tap shoes back on, it's a firm no. Darling, I'd be pushing Dr Scott's wheelchair, let's face it. No, I'd be in the wheelchair. For tickets and tour dates, there's a link at sunrise.com.au. Exactly 47 years to the day that that film premiered. And that song, you just even you just can't stop. It stays with <laughs> you, doesn't it? Yeah, you just want to start dancing. Um, coming up on no, weekend... I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I'm not going to. Um, coming up on Weekend Sunrise, what you'll see tonight on Channel 7's very special tribute